Hey folks, well today I'm going to give a short demonstration on the Arctic strap drill method of friction fire. I have been putting off this method of friction fire for quite some time. I've known about it for quite some time. I have been really leery about putting anything in my mouth and having a spindle this close to my eye. I'll, sh I'll demonstrate and show you what I'm talking about. But recently I just came back from winter count and I hung out with a gentleman by the name of Aunt, uh, Al Cornell. And this gentleman is such a good teacher and such a nice guy and so enthusiastic about friction fire that I couldn't say no. So let me get set up and I'll do a quick demo. Well, before I do the quick demo, I guess I should kind of show you the, the parts of the, the system here. It's very similar to a bow drill fire. You have a hearth board, you have a spindle, you have a bearing block, and then you have a string of some sort. In this case, it's a very thin string of buckskin. I will say that the materials that uh, this gentleman, Al, provided were top-notch. I mean, there was no, you know, inferior materials involved. These are very good materials. I believe the hearth board is yucca, and I'm not exactly sure what the spindle is, but you can tell it's, the set is very reminiscent of a hand drill set. In other words, um, you're not going to be doing this as easily with other types of materials as you would with pithy, lightweight materials like I said for a hand drill. So anyway, this is just a demo. It's a pre-made set. I brought it back from Arizona. So let's get going. So there we have an ember, it was pretty quick. Very uncomfortable for me to do it this way because I didn't have, you know, this isn't exactly the right setup for this. Should have been a lot bigger hearth board. But you can see I got an ember, and quite quickly actually. Look at how quickly it embered up. All right folks, well like I said, just a real quick demo. This is uh, certainly a type A uh, friction fire that I'm gonna be experimenting more with. Uh, like I said, this was perfect materials. Um, you can't exactly say you own a skill if you've bought, you know, brought back a perfectly made set and uh, with perfect materials and stuff. But it's definitely worth uh, practicing. I've been staying away from this fire method just because I was scared to death I was going to get a spindle in my eye. I've made the spindle go flying a few times, and it's never hit me in the eye. I suppose it's very similar to a bow drill fire where you're using a bearing block on your hand and sometimes I've sharpened my uh, spindle to almost a needle point edge and I've never had it go into my hand so my fears about it going to my eye seem to be quite un <laughs> unsubstantiated so anyway I just wanted to uh, show this real quick I've posted this on Facebook I had a lot of people ask me you know what in the world are you doing it's an arctic strap drill all right folks Take care.